who died and made you the natural hair queen. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Lexi and today is day three of my five day Candy Kinks marathon. So we're here, we're doing a chit chat, get ready with me. I did um, make a post on my Instagram stories and I have my responses. All of your little suggestions, questions, whatever for today's chit chat, get ready with me. I'm just gonna go through them. I have like some main ones that stuck out to me that I wanna talk about and then we'll get into the other like random things that you guys had to say. So I'm going to be using some makeup that I've either never used on here or is new to me and never used before. And just do my face. It's a real simple type of video. It's not gonna be anything crazy. Let me know down below if you're enjoying my marathon and any video requests that you have for the next couple of days. Okay, um, the video just began. I'm already making a fool out of myself. But I'm using the CoverGirl primer. I know that my nail is broken and I can't do nothing about it, so. The show <laughs> must go on. I'm right-handed, so y'all will see this right-handed broken middle fingernail the whole video. I'm not gonna pretend to not be right-handed and put makeup on with my left hand because it's intact. I'm not gonna do it. I'm not gonna waste any of my time um, doing that. Don't spill it, okay. So that was the CoverGirl primer, the um, full spectrum primer. And now I'm applying foundation. This has quickly become my favorite foundation as of late. And this is the Iman foundation. What is it called? The Luxury Concealing Foundation. I did a campaign for Iman on Instagram and I fell in love with this foundation. I've never used it before and I was like, oh, <laughs> oh. This is what <laughs> we're talking about. They don't have a ton of shades, but if you can mix and match, because they're very affordable, or find your shade in this foundation, you guys, it's freaking bomb. It lasts all day, it's matte, like, I love this foundation. I literally brought it with me to Los Angeles. It's the only foundation I took with me out there, like, cause I knew that it was gonna like, Whatever weather that came, it would be matte. It's easy to carry. Um, obviously, it's small, it's foundation, so. And it blends so freaking smooth onto my skin. I wear the color Earth 3. Look at that. It's like a very nice medium coverage, but it's definitely buildable. You can definitely make this into a full coverage look for sure. Um, but I'm not gonna talk about makeup the whole video. I'm gonna tell y'all what I'm using and keep it pushing just so the video won't be 10 years long. And most of you guys don't really care too much about makeup like that from my experience. Somebody asked some challenges that I face um, being natural. This is Fenty Beauty Concealer in the color 400. Some challenges, I... The only challenge <laughs> that I face being natural is shrinkage. And for some people, shrinkage isn't a challenge. For me, it freaking is because sometimes I wanna go out at night. I live in Miami, okay, if you don't know, if you're new. Um, this is the color 410 for under my eyes. Sometimes I wanna go out at night and I want to wear my, my fro and my fro shrinks to damn near TWA. Like literally, my fro shrinks so bad. And on a regular day, I embrace shrinkage no problem. But when it comes to like wanting to go out and have my hair big and flowy, I don't like shrinkage for that reason. I'm gonna be real with y'all, okay? So my nighttime shenanigans, I always have to put a puff on, a puff in because a puff, you know, the puff is stretched. My puff gets pretty big. So I just do a puff when I'm going out. And if I happen to forget and wear my hair out, I'm getting out there and I'm like, oh my God, my hair is half the length <laughs> that it was um, 
when I left my house. And I'm not one to complain about my hair, so like that's really all that you'll get out of me is a shrinkage thing. Um, some people don't have shrinkage, so they don't experience the woes of leaving your house and coming back home looking like a different person. But I experience that on a regular basis. <laughs> um, and I'm always happy when my hair is adequately moisturized and I could combat shrinkage quite well. Um, you guys know that I have, well, if you don't know, I have a video on how I combat shrinkage. I will link it somewhere. It's pretty old, but I do the same thing on a regular basis now in you know, this day and age, but it only can do so much. You're still going to have shrinkage and products play a huge, huge, huge part in the whole shrinkage thing. So yeah, I just gave up on, on trying to not have shrinkage. So I think I'm blended enough. Um, but other than that, I love my hair. I love my hair texture. Um, I don't have a problem. I, I do wash and go puffs nowadays, so I don't have a problem with like speed or ease or anything like that. Um, I have this Ofra Cosmetics palette that I got when I went to their laboratories here in South Florida. And like we made our own palette, so this is the one that I made. It's some highlighter, some blush, some eyeshadows, and some powder. So in here they have a banana powder and I'm actually really curious about how it works on me. So I'm going to just dab it onto my brush, my powder brush, and then put it under my eyes. I can't see that. Oh wow, it's actually super, super pigmented. Okay. This is my first time trying it out, so I'm just seeing, you know, what they're talking about <laughs> at Ofra. I've only ever used their highlighters, and this is sponge is from Ofra. This is my favorite beauty sponge, hands down. Next question was some things that I love about being natural. Versatility. I can change it up whenever I want. Uh, my hair is really, really big and it commands a room and I really, really, really enjoy that. <laughs> um, I like being different. I like that my hair texture can make myself look different, give me look different looks. I live for that. I, I love that. Nobody asked me this, but I'm gonna throw it in there. What do I hate about the natural hair community? Okay, um, listen. I'm gonna use my Ofra palette to just get some looks off, some browns and some orangey berry colors. I'm gonna just play with it and get some looks off. So don't worry about what I'm doing with my eyes, okay? I'm gonna just get some, do a little something, something. I'm gonna put some more powder on my eyelids to act as a base. So anyways, what do I hate about the natural hair community? Okay, let's talk about that. I feel like in this day and age, you gotta be doing what everybody else is doing or you ain't doing it right. And I cannot stand that. There is no point in my life that I feel like I have to do what everyone else is doing in order for me to be doing it right. Like I don't understand people get so big in the chest when you don't section your hair, when you don't pre-pull, when you don't freaking just do the things they do. Like, and I'm the kind of person, I will never tell nobody, oh, you shouldn't do that, don't do that, da, da, da. I'm gonna tell you, if it works for you, baby, freaking do it, get it done. If it makes you happy, if you like it, I love it. Like, I'm not worried about how you do your hair. And yes, I'm on YouTube, yes, I have my platform that I show how I do my hair, but I make a huge point to be very, very transparent in that if it works for me, it don't mean that it will work for you. And I'm not here to tell you to do your hair like me because I am no professional. And even if you are, I feel like sometimes things work for some people and not for others. And it's called trial and error for a reason. So I'm never gonna say, oh, well, do it like me or you're gonna be bald headed. Like, oh my gosh, y'all be really going crazy on people for not doing their hair how you do your hair. Who died and made you the natural hair queen? I don't care if your hair is down to your 
ankles. I don't care if your hair is touching the floor. I don't care if your hair reaches up to the clouds when you walking in the street. You don't, you, nobody died and made you natural hair queen to tell nobody else how to do their damn hair. Listen, listen. I actually get so uh, irritated. Like most comments don't irritate me. Like people on the internet tend to not irritate me. I know half of these people just be talking to the talk. You know, like most people in life just talk to the talk. So people online, they feel like they can say what they want to say, they can, how they want to act, because we're going to check them. I understand you're behind a keyboard, you know, you're thumb thugging. But in reality, half the time, if not most of the time, y'all be having no clue what you're talking about. I really, that's the thing about this community, man. I just be like, y'all get on internet and somebody else do this to their hair so you feel like everybody on planet Earth that has 4C hair should do what so-and-so do because their hair is long. It's called genetics. It's called porosity. It's called you only see what they show you. You have no clue. Like, hmm. Let me digress, because I'm getting a little angry, and it is a nice afternoon, so hmm, let me bring it all the way down. I'm actually going to do what people that are fancy on YouTube do, and <laughs> I'm going to wet my little brush. Look at me. Why just blow it? Why, why just blow it? And I'm going to put it into the yellow, so I can have some real pigment on my eyes that didn't do much that that <laughs> that didn't do much it's my first time trying this out so this is really oh there it is it's building on okay it looks more like gold on my eyes than yellow but it's pretty it's there Anyways, um, I also hate about this video is turning into something totally different. When it comes to the natural hair community, I also don't like that people feel like you can't voice your opinion without being a, a quote unquote hater or like being, you know, um, I don't know. I'd be like, I can tell y'all that. Y'all prefer looser textured YouTubers over kinky hair. I can say that y'all prefer to look at loosely textured hair because y'all have been brainwashed. I can say that. I can also not be a hater and say that. And y'all be blowing my mind. Like, so because I'm speaking the truth, I'm a hater and I have and I, I don't have confidence in myself. Baby, I know I'm cute. I love my kinky hair. I don't have a problem with my kinky hair. I can also look around and see that y'all be really pressed about curl defining, wash and goes, and let somebody put a video up how I define my 4C curls with no twist out. Oh, wash and go on 4C hair, the perfect curls. Y'all will bend over backwards to watch that video because you just really, really want to have curls popping. That's a result of brainwashing and self-hatred within our community and I can say that with perfectly calm understanding tone and not be a hater because it's facts and within the community if someone speaks their mind about how brands really be posting these only curly hair girls only 3c maybe 4a on a sometimes basis I mean, now they're posting more 4C girls because, I mean, we were getting tired of the same old people on the same old, on the same screen, you know. We are getting tired of seeing only loose curls. People are now commenting, asking, let me see a 4C hair blogger. Let me see someone with my hair texture on your Instagram page. And then they call me. <laughs> and I do a campaign. And y'all be like, oh, my God, Lexi, look at you. And I'd be like, yes, cape for us. Add these brands to... to give products to 4C hair girls, ask brands to put us on the freaking map. It's annoying, but it's a result of 100, 100%. The idea that the closer you are to whiteness, the more beautiful you are. And let's not, I don't know, I feel like for some reason, 
whenever someone says that, it's like, oh my God, here we go again. No, baby, it's the truth. I don't know, I don't know why we can't have an honest conversation in 2019. Y'all benefit from it. The same way that somebody could be beautiful and benefit from being beautiful is the same way that someone can be benefiting from being fairer skinned, benefiting from colorism, and simply as a result of colorism, people also wanna have looser textured hair and the furthest thing from kinky hair. And listen, that's what really gets on me because y'all on the internet be acting like people that make comments are just like haters or they just hate themselves. No, y'all hate y'all selves and y'all hate the blackness within y'all selves. So y'all wanna put people like me or other people that speak the truth about being black in America or wherever the hell you are as if we're just like harping on old tropes. No, baby, this is the truth. This is right now. This happens every day. You scroll through Instagram, you're going to see, you know, and it's like, I don't know. I'm the kind of person that I'm going to do whatever it takes to like elevate myself. So I'm not going to let whatever is happening on the internet, you know, um, Stop my grind. I'm gonna just grind. So because I have kinky hair, that's my niche. I'm dark skin. That's my niche. I'm gonna just do this work in within my niche. I know that I'm not a crossover <laughs> type of chick. I know that I can't be ambiguous. I can't fit the mold that is popular right now. But that's all good because I'm still gonna be me. And people like my viewers, like y'all beloved women and men out there, y'all appreciate someone that resembles you putting off for you you know so that's what i'm trying to do with this whole thing which is so so, so off, off topic but i feel like in our community we can't say yeah this stuff y'all be doing stuff us dirty you know um we can't say that and i'm gonna say it until i can't say it no more you know it's like i'm sorry i'm not sorry at all like please spare me so i put the yellow on my lid a nice little like little yellow color on my lid it's hard to really see see yeah i'll add i'll add some shimmer the shimmer in my palette right on top oh yeah that's pretty covered up all this yellow basically with this shimmer color i feel like ofra cosmetics does shimmer so so freaking good like i'll do a little purple I'm feeling a little bold. <laughs> so I'm doing a little bit of purple. I'm just going to put it right here. I never put on shadow, so I'm kind of going extra. I haven't put on shadow in literally I don't know how long. Oh, this purple is pigmented, honey. Okay, I'm feeling like royalty. Hmm. But let me know um, how you guys feel about what I said. I know my audience kind of thinks like me for the most part. It's usually how it works, right? So y'all gravitate towards what I'm talking about. So let me know um, if you like see the same things happening on your timelines or if you kind of like get, you know, my drift. Somebody asked me five things that I wish I knew five years ago. So five years ago, I was 21. What did I wish I knew five years ago? Hmm. I was living in Orlando. I was in school. Fenty bronzer. Um. Five years ago, I was in school, working, doing that whole thing. I had a man. I'm not going to throw shade. I'm going to leave it like that. I had a man. <laughs> Um, what? I wish I had more self-love and self-esteem. I think that I took some stuff from some people that I would never do now. So that's something I wish I had. You know, I've grown, we all grow as we age. I've grown into being more of a, you can't 
tell me nothing type of personality um, within reason. But like, you know, I think, yeah, I would just be, I would tell myself, girl, girl, bye. Like, <laughs> get it together. Okay, get it, get it together. Get up out of there or, you know, um, do what you want to do. Like, I would be that kind of voice for my 21 year old self. I was in school, I did finish school, like I did what I went there to do to Orlando. Um, <sighs> I would say also like even now, I'm pretty indecisive. This is a brow pencil um, by LA Girl. I would say look after yourself, put yourself first before these, you know, um, additions to your life. I would say, um, Trust your gut, be okay with change, be okay with letting things go. Um, I have a hard time still. Also, this is the, uh, what is this? Black Radiance setting powder and milk chocolate. This is my baby. I always use this. Um, be okay with letting things go. Be okay with hearing no. Be okay that things just don't go how you plan them to go. Like you have to kind of be more malleable and go with the punches and take life like how it comes, you know? Um, and I feel like I know that back then and even now, sometimes I'm really stuck in my ways and it's kind of hard to just let stuff just <laughs> run its course and get up out of here. Like it's, it, it needs to be a practice that I put into place, like letting things get the hell up out of my life, you know? Glossier Brow Boy. I love this thing. I got this from Glossier and I am like, hey, this is amazing. It's the perfect color of my for my brows and it just looks so like natural. It gives them a natural thickness. Mm, 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 mm. I would say to think bigger too. Like I think really big now, like I'm trying to get property with my sister. I'm trying to just, I'm thinking really, really big. I'm thinking that there's no limit. And I feel like I had limitations that I put on myself for a while, you know, my whole life. So I'm really thinking bigger now than I ever was. I would say think bigger. Don't think you can just go to school, just get your master, just be a speech therapist. Um, think about like how much more you can do small Lexi, <laughs> five years ago Lexi, so that's where I'm at right now, thinking how much more, you know, I can do for myself and for my family and for my future and if I have kids, all kind of stuff. I'm gonna use this um, highlighter from the Ofra palette. <sighs> this is my first time using this, <sighs> but they have pigmented shades. My nose about to run. <sighs> so, <sighs> I need to be careful. Boom, <laughs> It is so glittery and pretty though. It don't go with my um it don't go with my eyeshadow. But this is cute. This is beaming. Oh wow. I'm going to be extra and put it right up here. I love blending my eyeshadow into my cheeks, into my eyes. Fenty taught me that. <laughs> This looks good. It's just really, really silvery. I never wear silvery, pearlized looking highlighters. I'm gonna top it off with my Ofra, my other Ofra highlighter, and this one is called Blind the Haters. It's a lot more gold. It's just gold. <sighs> Same brush, because I'm lazy. I just want some more gold on my face, because I don't <sighs> know how I feel about all that silver. It still don't match my eyeshadow, but that's okay. And I'll put it on the tip of my nose. It's daytime, but I love being a glow stick. So, I'm a glow stick. How was my vacation? I went to LA with my two cousins. It was a movie. It was the best time. I did not vlog because I was turnt, okay? It was lit. It was all of the above. Like I had 
literally the best time, like the best time. I probably gained about five pounds in LA. Like I was eating, drinking, acting up. Like it was a mess. Like it, okay, okay. Let me spray my face. I bought this from Ulta. It's the Morphe Continuous Setting Mist. I've seen it all over YouTube. I've never used it before. So let's see, cover up my edges a little bit. <laughs> Oh, that feels good. It's also very wet. When I applied it, it didn't feel as wet on my face, but it's really wet. I might have been too close to my face, too. Um, yeah, vacation was amazing. I ate at every freaking spot that we could find. I ate amazing food. Um, they had really good vegan options. LA is like... It was a lot like Miami because I could eat basically everywhere, almost everywhere they had vegan options. So I wasn't struggling to find something to eat, which is a plus. I feel like this, this spray made me a little bit too oily for my liking. I don't like when sprays get me so shiny. And I might have just applied too much. But damn, I'm gonna put my powder back because this is, I am a freaking glow ball. What's it like to attend the World Natural Hair Show? I went last year. I'm obviously not there this year because I'm home, but it was amazing. I had the best time meeting people, meeting brands that I've worked with that I didn't see in person, you know, like just being there with everyone being natural and having their fits on, having their makeup on, looking so beautiful. like. It was a blast. Atlanta is a blast itself, so I had a freaking ball. Like, <laughs> I was turned in Atlanta too. Like, I was literally lit in Atlanta, like, the whole trip. So it was it was awesome. I, I, I would say go if you haven't gone. Hopefully next year I'll be there with a brand, because this year, you know, nobody called me, so I'm trying to get flued out, okay? You know? Put out there trying to get flued out. Fly me out to Atlanta for the natural show next year, y'all. Y'all, I'm popping. Like, what's good? <laughs> um, something else. My skin. I posted a skin video yesterday for day two. So go watch it. Skincare routine is live, updated, and everything. Y'all ask my skin almost every day of my life. Which is so sweet. I appreciate that. I worked hard to get my skin to where it's at now. It's been a long time coming. I'm using this Iman Perfect Lip Pencil in the color Espresso. Um, what else? How do I maintain my figure? Cha. My diet is the most part. It's Glossier um, lip gloss. My diet is the most important part of my figure maintenance. But I eat a bunch of carbs and a bunch of bread. So I have to work out. So I do work out a few times a week to maintain my figure for sure. Uh, and summer is coming. <laughs> so I'm really trying to get my life <laughs> On track okay but thank you so much for the compliment um, what else mascara time using my favorite mascara ever is the essence beauty lash princess nothing tops It's five freaking dollars cruelty free it's a bomb on Instagram I I post my meals frequently in my story so you check it out somebody else said if I have any upcoming events and I will be talking about that soon I will be at the um, Palm Beach Curl Friends Palm Beach County Curl Friends event that's I believe in July on the panel woody woody whoop <laughs> and then I'm also gonna be hosting my own meetup again it's been like a year since i hosted a meetup but it's coming i'll be hosting my meetup again coming up hopefully this summer i have to just here in miami i have to just get my life you know in order because right now sh me recording this video is shambles okay like a hot freaking 
mess you hear me hot freaking mess that's my life right now um unpopular opinions i did a video on that my friend sonia i will link it i don't have any new ones at the moment see i put on about like 87 coats of mascara because i don't wear lashes and it works for me <laughs> Dr. Karina B, my girl, she asked the most embarrassing moments, most life-changing moments, most humbling moments, and I'll maybe do a video on that separate, because the video's almost over and it's a long question, so I'll do a video on that, yeah. My next possibly twist and talk or um, chit-chat like this one. So I think I answered most, if not all, of the questions that you guys sent your girl. Um, yeah this was fun i haven't done a video like this in a long time so i was excited to film it and just chill and talk and do my makeup and talk forever and ever and ever it's probably be a super long video <laughs> but thanks for watching it this is day three of my five day marathon so make sure you are subscribed to my channel and make sure that you catch up on my other videos if you've missed them skincare routine a blow dryer review I have some stuff coming tomorrow and Sunday that I think you guys will enjoy again any request leave them down below so I turned the light down to see if you guys could get a better look at the colors and the color payoff and the details of today's makeup look I hope it's easier <laughs> to see what I did today because I know that it was kind of bright I'm using you know, a little sunlight to give me some looks off <laughs> for you guys. I'm really freaking close. The video is over. Thank you guys so much for watching and hanging out with me today. Hopefully you talked and commented along with my dialogue. This shirt, if you don't know, is from my girl, Janae Mason, AKA Nate Too Curly. I think they are still on sale. Check out her website and see. I'll put it down below as well. It's my dog. And I love this shirt. Love it. <laughs> Have a good one, guys. See you in my next video tomorrow. <laughs> well, I just did that. Like, who do I think I am? Like, what? what's wrong with me?